Just south of the Gold Coast on the Tweed, a new hospital is desperately needed. But the location is proving so contentious it'll be a key issue in the New South Wales election this March. Lunchtime in Kingscliff is peak hour for Jenny Burris. Customers come for the fish and chips and stay to vent their rage about the hottest issue in town. Most of them, I will tell the truth, are against it. I would describe it a fiasco. Locals are divided about the site chosen for a new half a billion dollar hospital. Jenny Burris is one of the few who'll speak publicly about it. 100% benefits all round. As soon as they start the building there, I will be getting the contractors, the builders all coming down to eat. The issue is set to define how people in the seat of Tweed choose their next local member in nine weeks. We've always been for the, um, the Liberal Party and no more. Tweed is held by the Nationals with a margin of just 3.2%. It's one of several key regional seats in the upcoming March election. Most will be fought on local issues. And in this electorate, the major concern is the hospital site. The New South Wales government wants to build it on state significant farmland. I think anyone who's got any common sense about it and who loves this area would have to go with the decision not to destroy the farmlands. But all agree a new hospital is desperately needed. The state election is a referendum on where a hospital shall be built in the tweet. It's really a referendum on whether you want a new hospital now or you're prepared to wait for two years. This one is tricky for Jeff Provost, who's been the member for the Farming Party, the Nationals, for 12 years. I may be a member of the National Party and a proud member of that, but at the end of the day, I'm the member for Tweed. I've just on 55,000 uh, local constituents here, and what they desperately need is a brand new hospital. Labor wants to move the hospital further south to Kings Forest. How much is this going to cost to move the location if you did decide to do that? Well, look, we'll have a look at the books when we get into government if we are elected. But at the end of the day, this is about what people want in the tweet. Works at the site are in their preliminary stages and the state planning minister still needs to give the final sign-off. Caitlin Gribben, ABC News, Kingscliff.